Hello, my name is Celito Rodriguez. Uh, this presentation is titled Unitizing and Coding Strategy. Okay, so here is the agenda for this presentation. Uh, first, I will talk about the purpose and goals of, uh, of the presentation. I will be discussing and analyzing uh, unitizing and coding strategies, uh, code listing, and then finally I will give a sentence-by-sentence uh, -sentence example of a news article. So what is the purpose and what are the goals of this uh, short presentation? Well, first of all, um, demonstrate unitizing and coding of a news article. Um, with the creation and justification of a unitizing and coding strategy, uh, creation, demonstration, and justification of a code list, and finally, um, I will show an example of coding uh, two paragraphs from a news article. Uh, before we go into uh, the unitizing example, uh, I wanted to clarify a couple of terms. Uh, first of all, what is unitizing? Well, unitizing is to decide what is to be observed. What is it that we are going to, 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 to look at, to read? Um, then uh, we need to divide that whole into small and manageable units. In my case, I am going to uh, work with a news article. Uh, that has many lines, many sentences. In my specific case, I'm going to do a sentence-by-sentence uh, -sentence example. So I will divide then this entire news article into uh, all the sentences, you know, to be able to uh, distinguish and treat as independent elements. So each of those sentences will be analyzed independently. Uh, and, and what is the purpose then? Well, the main purpose of unitizing is to increase the productivity, uh, the efficiency, and the reliability of the content analysis research. And um, talking about units, there are basically three types, uh, sampling, uh, recording, and coding, and, and, and context. Um, sampling and recording and coding are, are they're all very interrelated, so we will talk about that, and then we'll talk about uh, the coding and that I did for this example, and so on. Uh, sampling is uh, basically distinguished for relative inclusion in an analysis. Uh, it's a representative sample from a larger population, so. Um, uh, basically, in, in, in my case, um, the, the news articles that I got, the, there was some recent development on the news, and, and obviously there are many pieces about that. But basically, I just took this specific article to talk about this specific incident. Uh, and also, then, the inference involved is inductive. Now, recording and coding uh, is defined within an analyzed text. Uh, separately described, transcribed, and categorized. So, in, in my case, again, with this news article, then uh, I'm going to uh, describe, I'm going to trans, in this case, uh, basically uh, make categories or categorized uh, my different findings during the reading. And um, so, this is all represented by a record, a code, or uh, a datum, etc. And context is uh, limit what observers are to consider see that when uh, categorizing uh, size is very important, uh, basically meaning that um, uh, some, some uh, for example, if you just look at, let's say, a letter, well, lady has no meanings, it's, it's just basically too small. Um, and then if you get a whole bunch of uh, paragraphs together, for some case, maybe that may be too big. So, um, some words do not have meaning unless they are in context. So, again, uh, a context, um, it's very important also when it comes to analyzing, you know, any kind of, uh, any kind of written, uh, written texts. So, um, those are the kind of things that we're going to be discussing. Uh, it, this can be applied to any uh, analysis, but, you know, specifically in my case to the analysis of this news article. Okay, so, um, 
in terms of cold listing, uh, these are all the steps that I followed to analyze the, this new article. Well, the step one was I, I took the, this news article and I read it uh, completely. Um, in, in step two, I read it again, but then this time uh, I make, uh, uh, I label relevant pieces of information. So as I was reading, I was uh, underlining, putting into circles, just looking at anything that was important to me that came out, that, that surprised me. Uh, I just wanted to find out, you know, that kind of information uh, and, and basically um, uh, the, the article that I read was the recent shooting uh, by the police in, 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 uh, in Ferguson about the, the killing of a black teenager. And, and, and I wanted to look at a different perspective. So uh, there's basically two groups, uh, groups that are in favor of, uh, you know, the uh, 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 black teenagers being uh, killed by police and then there's a group of people that are in favor of the police pr protecting the uh, the community and I wanted to look at uh, a different perspective about someone that it's on the other side that is in the side of the police that that uh, someone that basically uh, think that um, the police acted in in the, um, uh, in, in a proper manner when a lot of people uh, don't think so. Uh, but again, I just wanted to look at, you know, uh, I, I already know what one group thinks because you've seen that in the media, uh, but I wanted to kind of look at the other side of the conversation. And then in step three, um, you know, it's decide which calls are most important and create categories. So I, I was looking at, you know, um, um, pieces of text, words, uh, I created some categories that I'll show in a minute and basically I just wanted to see what would come up, you know, what were some of the things that were uh, relevant and that were most common. In a step four, then basically it's decide which categories are most relevant. So I, I when I was doing this uh, listing, I created a lot of categories and a lot of groups, but then finally I narrowed it down to like about five categories, which I'll show in a minute. And uh, and then and then finally, in step five, I basically summarized the result uh, of the whole analysis. So here is a sentence by sentence example. Um, I again, this is like about two paragraphs out of the entire paragraphs. Uh, so this is like about eleven sentences only uh, in in this piece over here. And and basically, I I just uh, there was a lot of things that came you know all over and over. Uh, something like you know fact finding uh, to protect us, the criminal justice system, presumption of innocence, uh, protection again, the. Uh, don't rush to punish him, uh, you know, uh, Wilson's explanation, uh, credible, and, and stuff like that. So I, I make, you know, some of the most common words, you know, again, was, uh, you know, protection, uh, believe in the police, racism, um, and that kind of stuff. So I kind of put all this together, and I read it a couple of times. So basically, when I was doing this, I was using a, um, a pencil. And I, I scratched many things, and I went back, I, I erased, I, I put it again. Um, and that's basically um, the way that most content analysis is done. So after all that reading and um, underlining and, and coding and uh, uh, categorizing, then here's the results of um, a summer result of what I found. And again, as I said, I, I kind of um, a group everything into five groups, uh, uh, racism, media coverage, uh, fact finding, uh, police protection, trust in the criminal systems, and then I highlighted, you know, some of the stuff that came over and over, like, um, you know, the police protection. Well, basically, the, there was a lot of riots, and the police are there to protect us. Um, at the beginning, it looks like a war zone uh, because of all the stuff that happened. Some merchants are thinking about relocation, which affects the community. Um, there's distrust, uh, you know, for uh, on the police uh, from 
a side of the community. Uh, many people think it's a broken system and the system is not fair, that kind of stuff. Uh, when it comes to fact finding, well, many people do not care about uh, the facts. They, it is what it is. is you know, they, they just don't believe in the system. Uh, they rush to conclusion. They don't want to look at any fact finding at all. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. Well, uh, again, the media coverage, um, according to, to the writer of this article, w was not fair to the police. Uh, Display Brown as an innocent teen, uh, complained about too much force at the beginning, but then when the riots happened, then complained that there were not enough uh, uh, police force. Um, and in that kind of stuff. So basically, uh, in, in summary, what I conclude is that um, the the incident that happened in, in Ferguson about the shooting of this uh, uh, black teenager, th there are two groups. There is uh, one group, uh, which is black people and and, um, and all the minorities and a lot of all the people that are not just black that uh, basically think that, you know, the police uh, acted inappropriately and they should have been punished. Um, and uh, the so th that group thinks that the system is broken and there is a lot of mistrust. A and then there is another group of people that basically believe that, well, it happens because, you know, um, uh, this uh, Mr. Uh, Brown was not such a, as, as, as an innocent guy as is depicted by the media and basically um, says that there is a, a whole bunch of people in this country that are an anti-authority and that it doesn't matter what the authority does and um, you know and that kind of stuff and again so in summary it, it basically shows that the uh, the system it's it, it, it's divided that the system is broken there is a mistrust and um, and there you go so here is the uh, analysis of this news article uh, thanks for watching. I hope that this uh, presentation has been somewhat informative.